Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number eight of exercise five point two. And the question number eight says an AP consists of fifty terms, of which third term is twelve and the last term is one zero six. You have to find the twenty ninth term of that AP. So, in this case, there are fifty terms in an AP, and of which third term is twelve. So. The third term is given to you as twelve, and the last term. So there are fifty terms. So obviously the last term must be fifty fiftieth, and that is given to you as one zero six. You have to find out the twenty ninth term, and to find out the twenty ninth term, we have a formula a. Plus n minus one into d. Here, the number of uh, the number of terms that we have to find out is twenty nine. So twenty nine minus one is twenty eight into d. So to find out the twenty ninth term, we need a value of a, which is the first term, and the d, which is our common difference. And these two values we can find out using these two equations. So the third term is twelve, and we know that. The third term is equals to a plus two d. Same formula is applied here. A plus the third term will be three minus one two d, and that is given to us twelve. And the last term, which is fiftieth term, so this should be equals to forty nine d equals to one zero six. The same formula is again applied here. Here, the if you are not able to. Uh, figure out how i have solved this directly i am using i am solving again for you that i have to find out the 50th term and 50th term will be a plus n minus 1 into d and a is a and this is the term is 50 so 50 minus 1 is 49d and the 50th term which is the last term is given to you as 106 so this is how i can conclude that the last term must be a plus 49d so now i have two equations i can solve these two equation to find out the value of a and d it's better to subtract these two equations directly so plus when i subtract these two the sign will be changed so plus minus will be cancelled out plus minus will be minus so this will be 47d with negative sign and plus minus again will be Minus and so it will be ninety four with negative sign because greater value has negative sign in both the cases. So the value of d must be ninety four upon this value must divide here. So it should be my upon forty seven. Forty seven can be cancelled two times and minus can be cancelled with minus. So here the common difference is two. And now, if I substitute this common difference to in any of the equation, so I'll get the value of a. And it's better to substitute this value in first equation because here the calculation will be tough. So, a plus two into the value of d here is two, and this is equal to twelve. The value of a will be two multiplied by two is four. A will be twelve. This, when constant shifted to that side, will become minus. Plus will become minus, and the first term will be eight. So, the in this question the AP will start from eight, and you have to add two to form this AP. So the first term will be eight. The common difference which you have to add is two. So the next term will be ten, twelve, and so on. And the last term will be hundred and six. So this will be the AP here. But you have to find the twenty ninth term. So the twenty ninth term will be a is eight. The first term is eight, and the common difference is two. So the twenty ninth term will be equals to eight plus twenty eight into two is eight into two is sixteen. Two into two is four plus five. So this will be sixty four. So the twenty ninth term will be equals to sixty four. So this is how 
you can solve this question i hope you have understood this question and if you have any problem regarding any topic in maths you can contact us the phone number and the email address is given below in the description thank you